Good morning, welcome to the final part of this modeling series. If this is your first time here, we've simply found a photo of a house online and we're attempting to model this in Revit, with all the structural framing on the inside. I can't see inside the house, so I'm taking an educated guess on how it looks from the inside. If you want to learn how to model this from the start, then watch this series from part one. I've made a full in-depth series explaining step by step on how to create this model. I'm going to make this model available to download from my website for educational purposes. Go onto my website technicaldraft.com and sign up to my mailing list and I'll send you the model personally once it's done. This model is only going out to email subscribers so go over to technicaldraft.com and sign up. Okay I'll cut my rambling and let's get on with finishing the model. So all we have left to do on this model is just add what happened to this wall. A wall has disappeared. Okay, not a problem. We can fix anything simply by doing this. Okay, we can't. Copy. Paste a line to selected level one. There we go, we fixed a problem. Doing this job is all about problem solving. Okay, so on the bottom we have a three bay casement window, and on level one we have a two bay casement window. So let's add that in. I'm going to select these and I'm going to select these two and and I'm going to copy and paste up to level one. Now these are too high obviously so I'm going to lower them a bit. I'll drop them by 500 or something. Where are we? Z offset value, 2,305. Okay. And now we want to turn these into a two-bay casement window. That's better. That's what we need. Now I'm going to edit this by duplicating it so that it becomes another type. Or another item. Edit type. Maybe it'll look more sensible if we matched the width here. So let's do that. Maybe it's better if I do it from here. this one and copy this over like last time that's better now we need to add these middle windows in I want to draw a reference plane directly down the middle And instead of this window here, I want to add a different window just to make it look a bit better. Whoops. 
and I'm checking its position exactly. It says central. Okay. Now we need to add this ground floor porch roof. Now I'm gonna skip the structural step here, but I'll show you how it looks at the end. Overhangs very slightly out of this wall here but not that much and the pitch I would say is around about 40 as well okay now we need to see which one of these we need to define the slope on I think it's this one cut because I was supposed to be here and paste aligned to selected levels level one okay now this needs to be lowered a bit I think let's lower this by 500 